Loose Fans TV, welcome to your official player reigns for Chelsea nil, Manchester United 2. I've got social media guy Alex with me, I've got our producer Sammy. Now, let's go straight into it, a starting goal, Caballero, who wants to start? I don't think he did anything wrong today, to be honest. Um, I've heard a lot of people talk about Kepa, should he play? I don't think there was anything bad from Kepa, and I don't think, sorry, from Willy, and I don't think Kepa would have done anything to help the scoreline. So, I'll, I'll just give him a six. Not too bad, not too good. Uh, we'll go to right back then. Azpilicueta, no, not Azpilicueta, Reese James. I, didn't, I don't think he was one of the worst players on the pitch. I, I will be real, there's probably better players on the pitch than him today. I don't think he was one of the best, but... I don't think he had a bad performance. See, here's the thing. I think basically he did well, but the moment we started to concede, and I mean, basically it was like an overall team performance that collapsed. The moment that they scored, a passing just went bad. It went down. And so I think basically, I'm not going to criticize Reese James for his performance because it's not his fault what happened out there today. He tried his best. So in that case, I'm just going to give him a six. Right. We'll go left back, Aspel Equator. Now, here's the thing, I, I think he did his best, but the guy is on his weak side, and when you put, give him the ball in the position to cross, he's not going to do anything, because the best thing he could do is pass outside of his right foot. He, his crosses are either going to be, be, barely beat the first man or barely beat the yeah. second man. But I'm not going to lie, though. His crosses were poor, but you've got you to remember, there was no one up there. For some reason, we're playing like we're winning 2-0. No one was up there. So I actually prefer trying for a cross and not going anywhere then passing it up and down all day and not going anywhere if you see what I'm saying I think if more players went up the, the successful crossing would have been a bit more higher but I think Reese James and that's pretty cool I did their best for crossing I just think the team collapsed Rain you give them six again all right, six again. We'll go into centre back, Andreas Christensen. Now, first goal one is foul. He got an elbow to the face, and the referee did nothing as per usual. Fucking British of Raybo. But what was his performance today? If I'm going to be honest, I missed the first goal. I went in to get some food, come back, and I just heard that it was a goal. Um, look, if I'm going to be honest, it's. It's a tough one again because, I mean, obviously it's based on the injury and look, I mean, had he not been in the fence, maybe, you know, I mean, I don't know, what should I give over there? Seven. Seven. Yeah, right, fair we'll enough. move on. Uh, who's the other centre-back today? It was Christensen and it was, it was Rudiger. It was Rudiger Fortuna. and Zuma. Yeah, Let's Zuma do them together. Let's do them together. Um, Rudiger, I think he was our best centre-back today. Still a few mistakes, but we've seen that all season. I'm bored now. Uh, we need new centre backs. Um, we haven't seen for the whole season. We haven't seen a partnership for a good period of time. It's been it changes every week. So I don't know what the best partnership anymore is. So for him, I'm just going to give him again seven. Uh, what are your thoughts on Zuma? Zuma, yeah, he wasn't on. He wasn't on for much. But did he cause the second goal? No, he scored the first goal. Got ruled out for VAR. Know. But for the second goal, was it his fault? His his man marked. Oh God knows. Um, I can't actually remember him doing anything good. I don't know why he got booked as well. In my opinion, he looked like he got the ball. But I'm just going to go get, again give him a six. Right, Kante was barely on the pitch, so just bet, not going to give him a rating. Yeah. He was on the pitch for barely 10 minutes. Jorginho. Now, I thought he got the ball out of pressure a lot of times, but still same way. I think even the long passes, he could have been a bit better at they, Maybe it's the problem with the attackers because they weren't getting on to the end of them, but the his influence weren't there. Here's the thing. I mean, I've been a firm backer of Jorginho for quite some time, but this game, he was poor, his passing was all over the place, it was like panic stations all over, and it mainly was around Jorginho, that's the thing, his long passing was off, his short passing was, I mean, yeah, at times it was lucky, but it's like, it's sloppy, so, five. Right, Kovacic as well, I think panic station is another good word to describe it. Got better towards the end of the game, but the game was done by them. I think the midfield and wings were so poor, everyone just panicked. But individually, I actually think Kovacic was our best player today. He tried. He lost the ball every five minutes, but I feel like there was nothing else he can do, so I'll give him a six. Okay, let's go to the attack. This will be interesting. We'll start with the positive. Uh, I think Pedro, best performance out of the front three. Really? Out of the front three, yeah. Well, yeah. Out of the front, no. Who do you think was better? <laughs> Other than Giroud, but I'm talking about starting eleven. I mean, I didn't really see much from him, to be honest. I thought it was better than anything no, else. I mean, we had. The amount of, I mean, the amount of runs that he mistimed and all of those things—it just, to me, I didn't see. 
I mean, look, the problem is, is that for, for me, Willian and Pedro, they were both equally bad. So I can't really say that the Pedro was the best. I Obviously, think Pedro, Pedro but, yeah. to his, to respectfully to Pedro, he's a bit past it. But I still think for, for what we expected from him, he had a better performance. Yeah, from what we expected of him, he did okay, but it's not like something like good or great either. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna have to say five then. All right, let's go on to William. <sighs> Fucking hell. Four. He was injured from the, um, from the first half. I don't know if you lot saw that tackle, but what did he do, man? Did he, what did he do good today? I'm gonna say that for most of the front three. Oh, yeah, true, true. I'm gonna give him a four only because I expect more from him. Uh, I'll keep it that short and sweet. Four. Right. Mishi Batshuayi, a ten. genuine zero out of ten performance today. Missed three brilliant chances. It felt like Morata versus Arsenal again. Guys, give me the rating. Zero. Zero. I mean, he oh. I mean, missed five chances, pretty much. Yeah. <sighs> zero. It was a poor performance. Yeah, zero. Move to the subs. We already did Zuma, so... Mason Mount, pretty promising. I can't lie. Yeah. He didn't have a bad game today. Yeah, no, it's actually no Sammy. It was the only positive thing I saw today, in my opinion. He tried. Um, the guy's a youth player. He's not experienced, and he's doing all of this. I don't know how you guys hate him for some reason. I don't know why Twitter hates Mason Mount. He's one of our top. Right, it's right. one of our top scorers, and this, this guy is a kid. I yeah, don't know why everyone hates him. Plays, he's not the best. To, he does it? a lot of bad. I'm not gonna lie, but why does everyone hate on him on Twitter? I don't even know. That was a last sub now. Olivier Giroud. He needs more minutes now. Yeah. The guy is yeah. a France legend and we leave him on the bench for nothing. I mean, like, again, yeah, yeah, I know he was offside, but I mean, he definitely made much more of an impact than, than Batshuayi did. I know that if Giroud had the opportunities Batshuayi had, he would have converted at least one, at least, a minimum. So, look, I'm, I'm not going to fault him for the offside. It's, it's, it's just, you know, like that tiny minuscule millisecond, basically. So, I'll just give him a seven. Really? I'll give him a seven. All right, last rating. We'll go Frank Lampard. So what are your thoughts on his lineup in the subs today? Why are you not rating VAR? What a referee. Ah, oh, fuck VAR. <laughs> VAR I won the I match today. That it needs to be in the game, but fuck VAR. Same way. Um, Lampard, the only mistake I think Lampard did today was not start Giroud over Batshuayi. But I'm going to say something. Batshuayi's performance today showed why Lampard played Abraham injured last week. Batshuayi is that dead. No, I can same way, still give Giroud game time. Apart from Giroud, I have no complaints from Lampard. It was the team which was crap. So that thought, I'm actually going to give him a seven. I thought the team played really well no, first no, no. half. If Batshuayi I... scored and that VAR didn't happen, we would have won that. No, I agree. That's the only real issue. But yeah, guys, this is your player reigns for Chelsea. Nil Manchester United 2. Oh, yeah. If you agree or disagree with any of the reigns that we've given, don't forget to leave a comment down in the comment section below. Don't forget to check out the One Football app for all your best and your quickest football news. Don't forget to check out my personal channel, Carefree Lewis G as well. Check out his personal channel, CFC Alex. And we'll see you guys very, very soon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Check out Sammy as well, producer of the channel. Up the Sammy. See you guys soon.